Hola, tis I, Alicia. How are you? Hope you're doing good. We're gonna look into Mel's Hole. I'd never heard of Mel's Hole. Have you heard of Mel's Hole? So, Mel's Hole, here's, here's what we got. The Legend of the Bottomless Hole. It started February 21st, 1997, when a man identifying himself as Mel Waters <laughs> uh, appeared as a guest on Coast to Coast AM with Art Bell. Waters claimed that he owned rural property nine miles west of Ellensburg in Kittitas County. I probably did not say that right. Washington. And it contained a mysterious hole. According to Mel Waters, the hole had an unknown depth of at least 80,000 feet. He claimed to have measured it using fishing line and a weight, although he still not hit the bottom by the time of the 80,000 feet of line had been used. Now, according to Waters, the hole's magical properties prompted U.S. federal agents to seize the land and fund his relocation to Australia. Why Australia? Why would you, you Mel, in your hole, you, you are going to be separated from your hole, Mel, and you're going all the way back to Australia. I'm not from there. Too bad. Go. All right. So according to the State Department of Natural Resources, geologist Jack Powell, the hole does not exist and is geologically impossible. A hole of the depth claimed would collapse into itself under the tremendous pressure and heat from the surrounding strata, said Powell. Powell said an ordinary mine shaft on the property was probably the inspiration for the stories and commented that Mel's hole had established itself as a legend based on no evidence at all. So who's telling the truth, Mel Waters or Jack Powell? Let's see if we can find out. All right. I don't think I'll be using you today. Let's look into this. Is this hole real or is it a myth? Did Mel make this up or is Jack Powell just trying to sell his stories? Let's see, Mel's hole, Mel's hole, not Mel's diner. Kiss my grits. All right, Mel's hole, are you re real, legit, are you a myth? My goodness. I'm going to say I think Mel's hole's legit. <laughs> okay. Here's where this is the Philly tarot. I believe that's what it's called. Anyhow. Uh, <clears throat> this looks like Mel's telling the government. Hey, guess what? He's telling the world as well. I got this hole. And people are like, <laughs> Mel, you character, you're funny. And then it looks like somebody comes check it out and they're like, yes, this is the hole we were looking for. Yes. Like, I don't know if somebody lost this hole. I don't know if it was like a rumored hole. Like it's a secret portal to the earth kind of thing. People were excited when they got to Mel's hole. So, um, but it looks like for a while, it, perhaps the powers that be were like thinking, well, I doubt it. We didn't think it was going to be over there in Washington. It was supposed to be somewhere else. Um, and I don't know. And well, somebody better go check it out. Okay. We're going to go check it out. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. Mel's holes like legit. That's where it is. That's real. Da, 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 da. All right. Got to kick Mel out. Mel, you've got to go to Australia. Adios. Go put a shimp on the bobby. Um, so then, this looks like the powers of be, uh, come in here and they bring in all of their partners here and they take it over and they start doing some stuff. They have decided we are not going to um, acknowledge that this is here, that this hole is here. Um, we're just going to try and play it cool, calm, collected and like, <laughs> 
you should have heard the whoppers that Mel's told us before. So this is a deflection here, but this is an exciting thing that they found. So there's that. You know, I always love when people are like, oh, well, scientifically, uh, that hole would have collapsed upon itself. It's impossible. Can't happen. There's all sorts of shit in this world that they don't know how it happened, and they're pretending like they do. So, huh. All right. So, looks like Mel's hole is legit. Too legit to quit. Um, so, let's see. Uh, what's up with the hole? What's up with Mel's hole? Like, why is it there? What are we doing with it? Who was using it? Oh, did I get, oh no, I don't think I got them mixed up. I think my cards are cool. All right, what's up with Mel's hole? Who made it, what made it, why is it there? They, there was an idea that it was a lava tube for Mount Ray, Rainier. Um, however, uh, there was some other smart person who said, uh, no, no, it's too far away and it wouldn't be growing in that direction or formed in that direction. Not growing, but you know what I'm saying. So. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> what? Interesting, a lot of these cards came up again. You watched me shuffle them. It's like a portal. It's totally like a portal. It's to go well, it's to go from one place to another. That's what I'm going to say. It is to go from one place to another. Um Hmm. Okay, so, and it, I don't feel like it's ghost spirits. It feels like maybe it's the aliens. It feels like we're, you know, you have seven of pentacles, right? This guy's like, he's tending and he's growing shit, right? This feels like it's a um, railway kind of thing, but not like, a, it's a, it's a, a way to transport goods, things, things that we're making, we're making things down below. Then we shove it up Mel's hole and all, out comes, oh my gosh, I got my Philly cheesesteaks. Yay. They were growing down below in the inner earth and now I got them. Yay. There, it's like, it's a way to move. Like, I don't think we're moving like big shit out of it doesn't feel like it's big shit. It doesn't feel like there's shit that they collapse and or break down. It feels like it's just a bunch of individual parts. Um, like, what was that Johnny Cash song about building a car one piece at a time? Kind of that idea, like, here's all your uh, scooper pooper pieces and brrr, they all go up. Oh, here's all the nuts for that. Brrr, here's all your whatevers. Brrr, they all go up the hole. Um, but this is why they didn't want Mill anywhere near that hole. Because um, apparently Mill's got a big mouth. He'll tell everybody he knows and everybody on Coast to Coast AM. So they're like, no, no, Mill. No, 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 no. So we're just going to pretend over here that, mm, no, we don't know what he's talking about, Mill. You know, he's a crazy mofo. So interesting. The entities that be in terms of a government on the top, um, they do know. So it's like, when we had seen previously, like, they're like, yeah, we found this hole. They're, they're aware of it, but they weren't aware of the location. I don't know why. Um, but it's a way for them to, like, do some kind of trade. So I don't know if they're also sending, we're sending shit back down Mel's hole. Um, but this is to facilitate something it's very like this 
This is to help them restore some type of balance. Like whatever they're getting out of this hole helps them to restore balance. I'm wondering if this is some type of, in a way, you know how they said it wasn't a mining shaft or it was an old mine, whatever they said. I think there might be something too that there's some type of minerals or something that's coming from this hole allegedly for entertainment purposes. I don't want to vote myself off the island. I'm just reading cards, allegedly. There's some type of minerals that they're, that is a part of what's coming through this hole. Like, this feels more like <clears throat> minerals and then metals. There's some type of metals being from down below that we're shuttling up through this hole. <clears throat> In a way, it's almost like, so I'm getting metal, like, I don't know. I don't know if we're talking just basic metals, maybe metals we don't even know exist, metals. I'm also getting like minerals in terms of like something that would be comparable to, um, you know, lapidolite, where you get lithium out of it. God, okay, so Mel's hole is very valuable. This is why Mel had to go put a shrimp on the bobby. All right, well. That's interesting. So Mel's hole. Um, okay, let's, is there, so there's aliens down there or some, some things down there communicating with the government. Okay. <clears throat> um, are they good aliens or bad aliens? Let's see. Is it possible there's a, such a thing as slave aliens? I don't know what, what those would be. If you know, tell me in the comments. It's weird. So first thing I saw when I saw this, I was like, well, there's ghosts down there. But they're not the main, the main deal. Like there's ghosts around there. So if someone was doing some, if they're able to get down in the hole and go wherever it leads to, um, they would be able to, they would interact with ghosts. However, there's something here where it's, I feel like we have um, some type of labor force that's being, they have to do this. They have been sent or captured or whatever, like slave aliens. That's the only way I can call it. I don't know how else you call it. It's like, that's what they are. So the people, the aliens, the whatevers, they're trapped down there they're not free they're they're made to make mine to do all this shit so they're trapped down there and whoever's in charge down there then offers up this stuff to us street side but this that's the so that would say they're bad right that would say they're bad okay i don't know what that would be I, I'm not down on, I'm not Encyclopedia Britannica of Aliens over here, so I don't know. Bad ones, good ones, all that kind of stuff. Let's, let's see, is this hole, like, is it a um, portal? Well, spirits are down in there and coming back and forth, which is interesting. I'm wondering if it's also, like, it's an entrance point to, like, you know, there's that idea of the hollow earth or the inner earth or whatever. Like there's a whole like bunch of people living down inside the earth, which I don't totally doubt. I mean, I don't see why not. People have done it before, you know, there's like all sorts of underground tunnels and worlds and stuff that we've already found. Maybe not that deep, but so does this lead to like some type of other world? down there that we don't, we, us, you know, regular Joes don't know about. Well, somebody knows about it. <clears throat> Is 
this is okay interesting because this comes up as like this was like rumored like a place like atlantis that's the only reference i have to describe this um that this was like oh you know for for however long people have been talking about this place and this is the way to get to it and now we're it's like we're going on a new journey to explore it whenever this i forgot what year 97 when mel was popping up with this um there we go again this is that portal yes okay uh very happy that they found it because this is a connection point to it um It was just like this thing, like, I don't know that it exists, Bob. Well, I'm telling you, Robert, it does. I've heard about it from my daddy. Um, and once we find it, it's the key to the success of our future. So definitely it is, or some other land, something that's like flush with like extra, I'm gonna say resources, minerals, uh, metals, just all the earth's natural bounty but it's like whatever we think we have on top we also have it like in duplicate down below so that's that and there's like a whole other community down there they're living it up down there so and this is part of like i don't know if they've been allowed to fully explore it i don't think they've gotten a full tour of the place it's not like Come on down, Dave. Let us show you what's going on. I don't think we've gotten a full tour of the entire area. Uh, I think it's like you can you can check out like here's our um, Central Park. Isn't it beautiful? Everybody comes here to hang out. Um, no, you cannot go down that street. No, you can't. No, this you can stay here in Central Park, and this is what you can look at. But you're not going any further. Like they're protective of it. They're happy to do business, um, but no. Because it's it, maybe they don't want them to see all the slave aliens that are going on down there. Perhaps that's what it is. Um, okay, well, that's... Who knew? Another thing I've read on that I never thought I would know about and crazy town. So, with that, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll come join me in the Moon Moth Manor. And if you haven't already, give this video a like and I will see you next time. Adios!